this video, I'm gonna talk about three reasons why the odds were against me. You know what I'm saying? Three reasons why I should have failed, but I didn't. I want you guys to pay attention because I'm very confident, almost certain, that a lot of you guys watching me can relate to these things. So I want you to pay attention. I, I leverage them as motivation to prove a point to myself. Let's get it. Number one, being a minority. Guys, I'm black and Mexican. You're a minority. You know where I'm coming from. The odds are against me. It's one of those things that, that it's kind of hard to explain to somebody that, that isn't a minority, but if you are, you know where I'm coming from. The odds are against me. But I'm here to show you that you can use that to your advantage by leveraging that. What do I mean by that? I leverage stuff like this all the time, man. And this is what gives me energy. Okay, the odds are against me. So what? I'm gonna prove you wrong every single time. Don't look at it like a disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage. To be honest, it's an advantage if you shift your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Using that as energy to prove a freaking point. Number two. I'm sure you've heard this before and people have said this in the past a lot more than they do now that you gotta have a college degree to be successful. And most importantly, my parents. My parents told me, my friends' parents always told them that if you didn't have a college degree, you weren't gonna accomplish much. It was mandatory to have a college degree. To be honest, I think college is a scam. One semester or one year in college is roughly what? $20,000. You go for three years, that's $60,000. I want to say majority of the people out there have a degree and they don't even use it. They get a degree in something like sociology or kinesiology. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but things that they don't even use it for. What's the point? You know what I'm saying? If you use your money and invest in knowledge and real knowledge from a business expert, real estate knowledge, credit knowledge, entrepreneurship, if you invest that a fraction of what you invest in college, it's not even investment in college, it's a waste, you throw money out the window. But if you use that money and invest in a mentorship or invest in something that can help you in the business world, that's gonna make you a far better return than it would throwing your money at college. Me in high school, man, I barely got my diploma. The only reason I got my diploma is because of a teacher that loved me so much, saw so much potential in me. She pretty much told me that if I don't pass you, you're not gonna get your diploma. She had so much love for me that she's like, Gio, I know you're gonna do great things. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass you. That was one of the biggest blessings of my life. I graduated in an alternative school for fighting. I was, I was always in and out of the principal's office for just being a knucklehead, man. I did go to college. I went for one semester and I dropped out. The only reason I went is because I had a full ride scholarship for soccer. I wanted to give it a shot, but school was never my thing. I went to a junior college, but couldn't get in because of my GPA. So I did a semester at Tyler Junior College. Great experience, ended up dropping out. I don't think you, you have to have a college degree to be successful, man. I think that's just traditional, that's the norm. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, man, the odds were against me and I, I still succeeded. You do not have to go to college to be successful. So number three, guys. The third reason why I should have failed, but I didn't, is because I had a lot of people hating on me, doubting me, wanting to see me fail than I had that wanted to see me win. And believe it or not, that it got to me. I didn't show it much, but a lot of people doubted me, a lot of people hated on me, a lot of people wanted to see me fail. But what, what that gave me is that inner beast, the inner savage, the, the fire inside me. That's what built me and what made me who I am today, to prove, to prove them wrong. Man, I'm thankful for those haters. I'm thankful for those doubts, those people that told me I couldn't do it, that it wasn't possible because I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for y'all. So how I look at haters now is, I love y'all, man. It's really love. <laughs> it's really love, man. That's how I look at it. But my, but my mindset shifted. Now I'm not motivated by hate and doubt, you know what I'm saying? Because, yes, that's that's what got me to this point. That's where that fire came from. But what it led to and what the result was, to my ego, okay? Because I was trying to prove a point. When you're trying to prove a point to people, to someone other than yourself, the result is gonna be ego. When, when I realized that that's not who I wanted to be, I was like, man, something's wrong. Man, my ego was through the roof, man. My ego was through the roof. And, and what it took was painful circumstance in my life, okay? A very painful circumstance in my life brought me to my knees. I collapsed on my knees and, and cried for help from God. I cried for help. Like, no joke, man. I was in tears crying, begging God for help. God guide me to fulfill, not my purpose for me, 
but your purpose for me. I don't know what the heck that is, God, but I need you and I'm begging for you right now. And from that day forward, man, I've had this fire inside me, but the fire is different, man. The fire is love. Now, I'm motivated by love. The missing key to my transformation, the missing key to abundance in my life was humility. Humility. Humility is the key to abundance. I'm gonna say that over and over and over. My goal is just to show love and to inspire people to tap into their full potential. Because everybody out there, ha everybody out there has potential. Everybody out there has, has that, has an inner, inner beast and it needs to come out to fulfill their goals, their dreams, God's purpose for them. My goal is to inspire people to have the confidence to tap into their full potential because you got it. You got it, baby. I'm nobody special. I'm no smarter than you are. You're probably more handsome than me, man. I'm not that, like, that good looking of a guy. I mean, I'm light skinned, but man, I got a big nose. <laughs> the point being is, I'm no better than you. The only thing is, I'm just a guy who never gave up, man. I can never get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And, and I encourage you to have that same mindset. Always be hungry to become better in all aspects of life, not just financially, but spiritually, mentally. Physically, emotionally, whatever is most important to you in your life right now, focus on that. For me, what's most important is spirituality. God comes first. That was highest, absolute, most important, bro, is putting God first, okay? And when I prayed, when I asked God to guide me, you know, I said, God, forgive me for everything I've done. God, I just, I need your help. Please guide me to fulfill whatever your purpose is for me. To put me first. How, how do you put God first? Well, when I when I make my schedule for the week, I make my schedule for God. I make my schedule for family. And then whatever's left is for business. So I encourage you to do the same. And the result is going to be abundance, life, prosperity, love. Let's get it, baby. So guys, if the odds are against you, don't let that be an excuse. The odds are against you. Don't leave it there. Don't let that get you to a mental state where you're and helplessness, you're, you're, you're depressed or you're thinking about it too much and you don't think it's possible. What I want you to do is, if the odds are against you, use that as energy. Use that to motivate you to prove a point to yourself. Nobody else, prove a point to yourself. Because that's what you think. If you think the odds are against you, you can't fulfill this goal because the odds are against you, that's, a, that's something that you have to prove to yourself, that it is possible. Don't do it to prove a point to other people. Who cares what other people think? Do it to prove a point to yourself. Your subconscious is doubting yourself. Your conscious mind needs to, to prove your subconscious that it's possible. You know what I'm saying? That's the key. And I encourage you guys to do this. Not yesterday, not the day before yesterday, not tomorrow, but right now. Let's get it, baby. And if you watch this video and you don't take action, disrespecting me. Let's get it.